Yeah, hi, I'm up by uh, Lewis Pass um, outside the NZDA um, Palmer Lodge. Um, I'm going to be heading up the Nina Valley today. Um, there's a few cars here, so hopefully I don't end up sleeping on the floor of the hut. Um, yeah, because there's uh, five cars here as well as me. So um, it's about a three, three and a half hour journey up to the hut. Um, and uh, roughly around about 10 kilometres and so what I'll do is I'll just uh, sort my gear out and then I'll head off up and head up the valley. So the uh, Nina track just starts on the other side of the highway over there um, and um, I'm just parked here at uh, Palmer Lodge at the moment. Um, all of the cars that are here, have, they're cold, the engines haven't been running so Hopefully um, these people were up there last night and at least some of them will be coming out. Um, there are five huts up this valley so they may have gone to one of the other huts as well. Uh, this is the one that bothers me because you could get ten people in that van. There's the entrance to the Nina Valley just over there. Right, well, we're on the trek. Uh, so there's a uh, swing bridge over the river just here. That's the Lewis River coming down from Lewis Pass. And then we're heading into um, forest after that. So um, on the far side of the Lewis River there's an intentions book in that we shelter. Um, the last entry was from yesterday, somebody going up the Sylvan Tops. Um, but nobody else has written in there so I don't know how many people have gone up the track. I'll just have to head up and see what happens. There's a South Island Robin. And then we're just uh, heading up the track here, um, heading up to the hut. Just climbing up onto the top of the river terrace on the side of the Lewis River. It's looking down on uh, the Lewis River and the highway over there. We're heading that direction. Stepped off a uh, log and uh, went up to my ankles in mud. Stupid because I've got my gaiters, I should have put them on before I started walking. Uh, once you get over that first hill, you're walking across the top of a river terrace. Um, it can be a bit muddy at times. Someone's coming up the track. You got to stay up on the logs because it's real muddy. So you're walking across an open area like this for oh, probably about the next kilometre. Yeah, this is just about the only pace on the track where you can make a bit of pace. Turn off to the Sylvia Tops route. Must go up there sometimes. I 
I'm just sidling around towards the um, footbridge over the Nina River. It's probably about maybe 20 minutes walk away. Have to climb up and around a few uh, rocky parts as you're making your way up to that first river flat. There's our uh, first glimpse of the Nina River. It's looking down the Nina River. There's an awesome swimming uh, pool just right there. And then that's looking up over the first uh, flats along the river. The bridge is about another 10 minutes up the track. So there's the uh, footbridge over the um, Nina River. It's about a third of the way to the hut. Yeah, so I'm at the um, Nina Bridge, the bridge over the Nina River. Uh, that's about a third of the way along the track. Uh, it's taken me about an hour and a quarter to get to this place, so I'm running a wee bit slower than the stated track times. Uh, that's because I'm stopping to film and stuff. Um, from here I cross over the bridge and then you're on the other side of the river on the true right for the rest of the way And you're slowly climbing up to the knob where the hut sits Yeah, and uh, so it's like two hours from the other side of the bridge to the hut uh, Roughly round about five to six k's. Yeah I'm just gonna have a rest and a drink of water uh, for five minutes and then I'll get on my way again Yeah, so the Nina Valley's got a heap of uh, good tramping tracks and huts up here. Um, there's five huts that you can go to. Um, three of them are just two-person bivs, but there's a couple of huts as well. Yeah, uh, Nina Hut's the biggest. That's a ten-person hut. Uh, it's normally busy right through the year. Um, only time when it's quiet it's normally in the middle of winter time. Um, I've been up here um, five times now. This is the fifth time I've been up here. Stayed in the hut three times. Uh, if I stay in the hut tonight, that'll be the fourth time I've stayed in the hut. So we're just walking up the uh, true right of the river. Interesting uh, rock formation there. Been worn away by the river. Uh, there's the Nina River over there in the distance. Um, you used to walk down right next to the river along here but the um, river started eroding away the river banks and so the track's fallen off the edge. Um, they've built it quite a ways back so um, here's the track here. It'd be probably a hundred meters back from the side of the river. Uh, the uh, track's been rerouted a bit further away from the river since the last time I was here. The uh, river is gradually eroding away the um, side of the bank and big chunks of the track have fallen into the river. This is a bit more uh, uh, difficult this way because it's uh, very rooty and muddy and um, not very well formed. Uh, this is one of about 10 little streams you cross on the way up here. Um, if it's really hosing with rain don't come up this track because these little streams 
turn into rivers that you can't get across. Yeah, it's okay at the moment, they're very low flow. Uh, we're walking across these flats for about maybe a k, k and a half. Um, you can camp anywhere in here. The uh, river is just over here, so you know you can put your tent up anywhere under these trees. Lots of flat spaces. You can get down to the river for water. Uh, these uh, open clearings are interspaced with little bits of bush. Uh, I'm high up above the uh, Nina River climbing around a gorge. Yeah, probably about two thirds of the way to the hut. I've been walking for about two hours and 15 minutes now. stop for a break um, I've been walking for about two and a half hours now yeah uh, I, I think I'm probably about maybe a K maybe just over a K away from the hut um, I had a look at the map and and that's what I think it is but it's hard to tell because I can't see any of the surrounding hills yeah doesn't matter anyway just got to keep walking so I'm just gonna have a snack and a drink and then I'll keep walking Forgot how rough this uh, track is. Uh, it's like really rooty and rocky. Yeah, it's hard to walk on. Like you, you keep wobbling from side to side. Starting to drizzle. I won't put my jacket on, I'll just get so hot. Um, it's really, really hot, it's like 30 degrees. So I'm really uh, struggling up this track and sweating like a pig. Uh, I'm about half a car away from the hut. Probably about 20 minutes walk. Uh, so for the last section of the track, you're walking up through this um, goblin forest. Um, there's like moss and uh, leech and lichen all over all the trees. Yeah, and uh, you're climbing right up to the hut. Um, I'm climbing up the last hill to the hut. It's only a couple of hundred metres away. I'm pretty naked actually. It's quite a hard walk. Uh, so I'm up on top of the knob and then you just have to walk along the top of it for a wee while to get to the hut. Uh, there's Nina Hut just there. Finally got there. Looks to be about four or five people here. Nina Hut. It's a, um, a standard uh, tin bunker. So that's the uh, edge of the forest and the start of the track back down to um, the car park.
Uh, just setting off for the road now. Um, should take me about three to four hours to get back to the car. It's a bit of up and down as you're moving along the sidle track. There's the uh, Nina River down below us. We're about maybe 40 or 15 metres up from the edge of the river. Yeah, this uh, sidle track here, um, heading up to the hut is uh, quite hard walking. Like it's really unstable and there's lots of uh, roots and rocks and stuff so you're kind of wobbling around all the time. Just having my uh, first break of the day, I've been walking for about an hour now. I'm probably about a third of the way um, out to the road. Yeah, It's a bit um, faster walking back out to the road because you're walking downhill most of the way. But it's still quite, quite a hard track. Um, I'm back down on the river flats again, so I'm walking across the flats for probably about maybe two kilometres. Um, there is still a bit of forest and up and down in that space, it's not perfectly flat. Uh, and then I'm uh, walking up and sidling round to the bridge, so yeah. Uh, I'm at the start of those uh, river flats. Um, yeah, so I'm just having a break, having a drink of water and a wee snack, and then I'll um, start walking across the flats. There's lots of good uh, potential uh, campsites up here on these flats. Just tuck yourself into the trees a wee bit. Just keep making my way down towards the bridge. Uh, this is the last and the largest of those river flats. There's a wee campsite there. Someone's uh, stacked some wood up for it to dry. Yeah, uh, fire stones there where they've had a fire pit. That looks like it's been there for a wee while. Uh, I'm back in the forest now um, all the way round to the bridge. So it's about a K from here to the bridge. So here's the track here, it's probably about 100 metres away from the side of the river over there. So you used to follow the track along the edge of the river, but um, now it goes inland because the uh, track's eroding. The new bit of track is running along a slightly higher terrace, farther away from the river, and uh, heading down to the bridge. Uh, we're just about at the bridge. 
there's that uh, big rock formation um, that's a couple of hundred metres down from where the bridge is. Yeah. I'll stop on the other side of the bridge for five minutes um, and have a drink of water. There's the bridge there. I'll cross over and uh, have a stop for five minutes on the other side. Yeah, so after I have a break, I'll um, sort of uh, out to the road. Um, takes between an hour and an hour and a half to get out there. Saves an hour, but the track's pretty rough. Just have to sidle back around to the Lewis River. Uh, this uh, river flat's um, designated on the topo maps as a backcountry campsite. Um, there's no facilities here whatsoever, but you got the river there. Um, there's some nice flat ground and there's some um, campsites tucked into the trees so yeah it actually would be quite a nice place to camp. There's a uh, awesome swimming hole just there. It's really deep um, oh, over my head height probably about eight nine feet deep and it just goes down down over to there. Probably wouldn't be that bad at this time of the year. Yeah, so that's where you go back up on the track and start sidling around. Yeah, there's a lot of climbing up and down over little ridge lines, um, getting around to that um, swampy part of the track. I'm um, just on the uh, edge of that uh, swampy area where it's all open. Um, yeah, and then I'll just pass over there. There's some riflemen in the tree next to me. Um, I'm just over a K from the uh, end of the track. Um, those uh, trap line um, markers are put out every 100 metres and so it's 1100 metres from here back to the start of the track. I still have one ridge to uh, climb up and over um, and then it's um, sidling back around through the forest to that bridge across the Lewis River. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, this is the hill that I have to climb up over. The old uh, New Zealand Forestry Service ranges were uh, infamous for chucking in stupidly steep pieces of track right before you get to the end of a track. It was, it was almost like a joke, I think, to them.
Yep. So uh, just heading down the far side of that um, we rise and then walking around to the bridge. Uh, we're almost at the end of the track. I can hear the cars off in the distance and I can just see the highway through the trees. Yeah, about another 10 minutes. There's the Lewis uh, River. The bridge is just up around that um, bend in the river over there. Uh, there's the end of the track over there and the bridge over the Lewis River. Uh, just back over the bridge and then that's it, um, end of the track. Just have to walk back over to Palmer Lodge and uh, hopefully the car's still there. So that's the end of that track, um, that's a nice trek up to Mina Hut, um, it is hard in places, it's quite rough with all the uh, tree roots and the rocks and stuff, but yeah, yeah, it's definitely a, a nice um, walk, uh, the hut up there is really uh, lovely as well, anyway, I'll uh, see you on my next one.